Hello everyone, welcome to Raspberry Pi Pico series. I am Hariharnath. In this video, we'll look into how to use Raspberry Pi Pico simulator for free using Wokvi IoT simulator. You don't need a physical hardware to learn Raspberry Pi Pico and run programs on it. By the end of this video, you'll be able to learn how to use Raspberry Pi Pico using Wokvi simulator and run programs using microcontroller without even owning a physical hardware. In the previous video, we have seen what is Raspberry Pi Pico W and getting started with it using Arduino IDE. If you haven't seen it yet, you can watch the video by clicking on the top right corner. Let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is open walkway.com on your favorite browser and once you have done that you, you will see this page displayed. You can sign in or sign up if, if you haven't done any account creation but if you sign in it will be able to save any programs onto your account and if you want to do is anonymously then also no problem you, without sign in you can work as well. So now you can see here in previous videos, I have also explained you how we can use ESP32 as well as Arduino and I will put those links even in the description. Now in this video, we are going to look into PyPico. So what you can do is click on PyPico and you will be first shown featured projects and if you scroll down, you will be having starter templates. And inside the starter templates, we can see PyPico, PicoW and MicroPython. So you can choose any of them as a starter template and there is also some examples like MicroPython examples, Pico SDK examples. So in this video, I will be showing you MicroPython examples. So first, instead of taking MicroPython example, I can take the starter template. So if I click on starter template, it will be first showing you the basic PyPico and the programming language based on Arduino IDE programming language is shown here. You can even remove this and change based on the MicroPython as well. So for that, first I need to run the Blink program. So to run the Blink program, what I can do is I can add a new part, take the LED and from here I will connect this to the pin 5 and another C cathode to ground. Now we are done with the connection. So I will show you the MicroPython example how we can do that. So here already created a MicroPython. What is the difference between starter template and MicroPython is that here we can see the file format is having .ino which means that it is Arduino IDE compatible program and here if you see it is .py. So for example if you want to create anything you just have to add a new file. So you can create a new file and name it as main.py or .ino whatever you want you can create. So based on the programming language you are going to work you can create that. So now I am running main.py that's why it is already there and here let's see the code. So here what we can see in the starting is import statements. So from this machine we are taking the pin class and uh, from the time u time we are taking sleep function. So first we are using print that is hello pico and we are assigning led variable equal to pin of 5 and that is the pin out. So because if you see this is gpio pin 5. So that's why we have to mention that 5 here which is the pin number and whether it is going to be output or input. So this is the output uh, because the LED has to glow right so which means that it is output and then to toggle this what we have done is while true LED dot toggle. So LED has this uh, dot toggle option which means this is a function which will keep on making it high and low and then sleep of 0.5 seconds. Now simply what you can do is you can click on start the simulation. 
and you can see every half second the LED is getting toggled. Now if I want to change instead of 0.5 seconds I can make it 1 second and I also want to keep the state of of 2. So for example if it is toggling first time and it is in the on position and is the second time it is in off position I will make it as 2 seconds and first state will be in the first 1 second. So now you can observe the change here. So you can see switch off position is 2 seconds, switch on position is 1 second. I hope this example is very clear for you. You can stop this and even save it. So it, when you save it, it will be saved as a anonymous, but if you click on sign in and then save it, it will be under your account. Next thing that we can see is seven segment display counter. So for this, the seven segment display is already here. So you can see this seven segment display and a breadboard is taken and wiring is already done and there is one, you can see the toggle switch and this is the Pico. This project is also there in our starter templates. I can show you from there. So you can go back again by Pico, go to starter templates and MicroPython examples here. If you click on seven segment display, it will open like this. And if you want to modify any code, you can do that. And now I'll try to explain you the code mentioned here. So the top two are nothing but just the import statements. We are taking the pin class and the sleep method and the layout. So if you see seven segment is divided with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven LEDs, individual LEDs are made into a shape of eight. And there is one dot that is called decimal point. Here we are not using that decimal point. And this is how the top, this line is called as A. We can see here and this side one is B, C, D, E, F and middle one is G. So this is how we have to provide the values to the seven segment display so that it will be on and off. And later on, as we know, there are seven pins associated for each of the LED in the seven segment display. So we have mentioned pin 2 as output, pin 3 and then pin 4, pin 5, 6, 7 and 0 is nothing but a DP that is a decimal point which is not connected. Now this is a common anode 7 segment display which means that when we give 0 it will be on, LED will be on and when we give 1 it will be off. I will explain you what here we have written. So in this first line you can see each value corresponds to the each pin. So for example, this is A, this is B, C, D, E, F, G and last one is DP, decimal point. So in the seven segment display, we have divided each LED, right? So, so that's why I have shown you A, B, C, D, what does they represent and those values are correspondingly here. For example, if you see C, 0, if you want to make 0 out of this seven segment display, G should be off and remaining all should be on. So how can you do that? So you just have do, so you don't have to worry about the last decimal and you just have to worry about the seven numbers that we have. So all are zero except G. So G means this one, this will be off and remaining all are on. So when they are on, which means that it will form a zero. Just like that one, two, three, four, five and until F we have written these values. So once we have written these, we can go back to the main code. So that is, we also have a code for reset, which makes all the pins zero. So we are using a for loop and every pin value we are making is one, which means in common anode, it is, it is going to be off. Next, we are calling that reset function at the start of the program and making everything off. Next, we have this switch, right? So this switch can be switched on and off to, to start the ascending order or the descending order of these values. So we are going to show in this program 0 to f and f to 0 based on the 
switch position. So first we are using while true and if switch dot value is equal to 1. If the switch value is on we are going to make it as an ascending counter and for i in range of these digits the digits is this one. So total digit numbers it is going to count and for each value it is going to run a loop and inside that if somehow the switch value gets back into 0 then it will be breaking out and then we are running an another inner loop which will uh, count the number of pins. So here we can see the number of pins here 7 pins and for each pin we are going to assign the value of the digit i comma z. So for example what we can see is for a it is going to assign 0 and next inner loop it will assign b 0 and finally for g it will give 1 which means that it will form a 0 like this and g will be off. So that is how this code is running and we have given a sleep seconds of 0.5 and same way for descending we are just doing minus 1 minus 1 which means it starts from last and then decreases by 1 and the same value is given to the pins. Let us now start the program here and see and observe how the values are given. So, you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until f will be shown in the ascending order. Now, if I just turn on the switch, it is going to be in reverse. You can see 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 and f, e, d, c, b, a. So, this is how it is going to work. If you want to change the timer, also we can do by using the sleeps. So, here if you put 1 second, it will be slower. If you put 0 0.1, it will be very faster like that. I will just stop it here. So, that is all for today's video. I hope this video was helpful. If yes, please type helpful in the comment section below. I have many more videos lined up for you on Raspberry Pi Pico and Pico W. And to get all the updates, please subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to us and helps us keep creating more content like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another interesting video.